Now we're ready to sew a seam. If we come over to our needle plate, we'll see a bunch of lines and measurements that say 3 8 5 8 and 7 8 5 8 is a very common seam allowance on many projects, so I'm going to line up my fabric with the 5 8 line and lower the presser foot. I'm going to sew forward a few stitches and then press the reverse button. Now I'm going to continue sewing down my seam. Notice I don't push or pull the fabric, I am just guiding it along the guideline. When we reach the end of our fabric, press and hold the reverse button, lift the presser foot lever, and trim the thread. And here we have our seam. I did the reverse sewing at the beginning and end to keep it from unraveling later. Now let's take a look at our Sew Easy foot. Now I want to make a seam using our Sew Easy foot. This foot has a guide on the side that we can move to set our seam allowance. And the third red mark over is for 5 8 so that's where I'm going to set it. To change our presser foot, there is a little lever that sticks out behind it. Push it and the foot pops off. Place the Sew Easy foot underneath and lower the presser foot lifter so that it catches the foot and you'll hear it click into place. Raise the foot and place the thread underneath. Take your fabric and line it up with the guide. Lower your presser foot and begin sewing. Sew a few stitches and press and hold the reverse button and then let go to keep sewing forward. When you reach the end of your fabric, press and hold the reverse button again, then let go. Lift the presser foot lifter and trim the thread. The Sew Easy Foot made it super easy to see the seam line. Now let's see how to select some of your other stitches. Now I want to try out some of the other stitches on my machine. We have a handy dandy stitch card that came with the machine to show me all of the stitches. On the front I have modes 1 and 2 which are all continuous stitches and on the back mode 3 which are programmable stitches. I want to stitch out mode 1 so I'm going to put on my stitch card holder onto the card. and place it into the hole that's on my handle. Now I can see all of my stitches without having to hold the card. Go to your screen where we see 01 and I want to do stitch number 51 in mode 1. The screen shows the icon for mode 1 so I'm going to go up so that my screen displays 51. On my screen we also see a presser foot icon with the letter T. And that's the all-purpose foot, which is already on the machine. So let's stitch this out. Now I'm going to put my fabric under the presser foot and lower it and begin sewing. When you reach the end of your fabric, lift off of the presser foot with your presser foot lifter and trim the threads. And we have this great looking stitch. Now I want to customize the look of my stitch, so I'm going to come back to my function buttons and I have this on my screen that looks like a zigzag with the number 5.0. So I'm going to make that wider, so I'm going to bring that all the way up to seven, which is its maximum stitch width. Put it back under the presser foot, and let's sew this out. Stop sewing, raise the presser foot, and trim the threads. And here we can see that the stitch looks much wider. Now I want to make it look more narrow, so I'm going to come back to the stitch width selector and I'm going to bring it down. 
You can see it flash and hear it beep when it's back at the default. Now I'm going to keep going. All the way down to 2.5. Let's give this a try. Stop sewing, raise the presser foot and trim the threads. And there we see the original stitch, but much more narrow. Now let's play around with stitch length. So I'm going to bring the width back to default, which I will see when it flashes and hear it beep. And I'm going to come over to the stitch length button and I'm going to increase it up to three. And I'm gonna sew it out. Stop sewing, raise the presser foot and trim the threads. And there's what that little starburst stitch looks like when it's elongated. Now I'm going to make it a lot shorter. So I'm going to come back to the stitch length button and I'm going to press the minus button until it's all the way down at number one. And let's try this one out. Stop sewing, raise the presser foot, and trim the threads. And here we have the stitch where we made it very short. Isn't it really cool how we took this one stitch and really changed up the look just by playing with stitch length and width? Now let's play around with a stitch on mode 2. Now I want to select a stitch from mode 2 on my machine. So I'm going to go to the icon that looks like mode 2 and press my mode button so the icon matches. And I wanna do stitch 18 that kinda of looks like this squiggly satin stitch. So I'm going to go up one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And because this is an electronic machine, everything is set up for me. But I do see that there's this presser foot icon that has the letter A next to it. And the A foot is my satin stitch foot. So I went into my accessory tray and got the satin stitch foot, and I'm just going to change the presser foot. Place the thread under the presser foot. And now I'm ready to put my fabric under, lower the presser foot, and start sewing. Stop sewing, raise the presser foot, and trim the threads. And check out how great this stitch looks. Just like in mode one, if you want to customize the look of your stitch, you can play around with your stitch length and stitch width buttons. Now I want to stitch out a sequence from mode three. I've already turned my card to the other side so I can see all of the letters on mode three. And I'm going to stitch out the word singer because that is already in your instruction manual so you can follow along. I'm going to press my mode button so that I see A, B, C. So singer begins with the letter S. So on my card, S is the number 19. So I'm going to select 19. And then I'm going to come over here where on the panel I see A, B, C and press the plus. Now we'll see 01 comma 01. That means stitch number one of one stitch in the sequence. So now that S is added, I'm going to do the letter I, which is 09, add, N is number 14, add, G is number 7, E is number 5, and R is number 18. 
so I have six letters in my sequence. Before I start sewing, I need to come over to my reverse button that has the little floppy disk icon and press this button. Now the machine has saved my sequence so we can start sewing. I'm going to take my fabric and actually really quickly I'm going to look back at the screen and I see that it has the presser foot icon with letter A and I already have that attached from when I was doing a satin stitch for mode 2 so we can leave that foot on. Put the fabric under the presser foot, lower the presser foot and start sewing. When you've reached the end of the sequence, the machine will stop, raise the presser foot, and trim the thread. And here's what's stitched out. And after I trim all these little tails, we will get this. Now let's work on making a buttonhole. 